Hi everyone, this is a short video to introduce the assessment requirements for the Communications and Media course. So you'll see there are three assessment items. The first one's broken into two parts. The first one is due pretty swiftly on the 24th of March. Uh, the second uh, of those two online writing tasks is due on the 14th of April. Then there is an essay which is due on the 26th of May. That essay builds on one of your shorter writing tasks. Uh, as part of assessment one. And at the end of the course, there is a project which is due at the 20, on the 23rd of June. The two online short answers and the essay uh, relate to the first half of the course in terms of the course content, and then the project relates to the second half of the course. Now, as always, please refer to your course outline as a guide for all of the assessment requirements and do post any general questions about the assessment to the discussion board online. Um, any questions specifically about your essay or project topics can also be emailed to me. So the first assessment, 24th of March, is submitted via the assessments tab on uh, Learn Online. Um, it's a short answer question. We will be providing an example of uh, the type of uh, answer that we are expecting uh, in the second week of tutorials. Okay, so it's 675 words, and you have to select the topic from week two or the topic from week three. So week two is a general introduction to the field of communication and media, and then week three related to that is uh, the topic understanding communication and media practice. The second one um, is the same type of writing uh, assignment, um, but after which you, you'll, you'll be doing this after you've done the first one, so you get a bit of feedback from the first one first. So that for the second short answer, you choose from one of three topics from either week four, week five, or week six, um, as outlined here. Again, it's 675 words, and again, you'd submit it via the website link, um, which is again available from the assessments tab on Learn Online. The second assessment, which is actually the third thing that you'll submit, but it's called assessment two in the course outline and for, for the purposes of our discussion today. So that's due on the 26th of May. So what you need to do is you take one of your short answer submissions from assessment one and you develop that into a formal academic essay. Now, if you haven't written an academic essay before, um, you'll get plenty of opportunity to practice this uh, throughout your program. Um, but we will we'll do some discussion about what it means to write a formal academic essay. Generally, you're asking the question um, or being invited to discuss and explain, interrogate, evaluate, uh, and so forth, the significance that communication and media have on contemporary society. So the idea, again, is that you take one of the tasks that you've done for assessment one, choose one of those, one that you feel um, that you have uh, you know, that you feel most strongly about, that you're most interested in, or one that you think you would really like to develop a little bit further and you turn that into an essay. Now, the other part of this uh, essay question uh, or essay task is um, you're being asked to develop and imply your understanding of the topic to one of these, we're calling them domains. So it could be workplace communications, university communications, it could be media and communications in a social setting, at your home, a nightclub, a pub, members association, sporting club, church, anything like that. Um, it could be in relation to either an online news outlet or a traditional news outlet, or in relation to social media, so communications via social media, or something else, and you may have some other ideas that pop up. Um, and if you're not sure about it, um, please do contact me via email or we post it on the discussion board. Um, if you put it on the discussion board, uh, everyone's going to see the question and the answer. Some people might have some similar ideas or they might benefit from your ideas, or you can just email me. And if you're not sure, just check. N check. Normally it's fine, but it always pays to check first. The final assessment item is a project which is due at the end of the course, um, the 23rd of June. So that consists of a PowerPoint presentation with notes or a recording, much like I'm doing today. So it's based upon one of the topics as this in the second half of the course. And you're being asked to discuss and evaluate and analyze 
how theories of media power, persuasion and media effects research relate to contemporary media texts. So we'll be looking at those kind of key ideas, what we mean when we're talking about media power, what we do we mean when we're talking about persuasion and media effects. Those are all topics that are that are covered in the second half of the course. So um, don't worry too much about them now. Do feel free to read ahead if you like. Um, and then the second part of it is you, know, you need to take one of those theories or those key ideas and then apply them to a contemporary media text. So not a historical media text, that might be something like, um, you know, coverage of World War II or um, some of the more famous like satellite broadcasts during the Vietnam War or the, or the moon landing, or even going back a little further, you can go back to the invention of the printing press. Those are, those are historical examples, so that's not what we're looking for. Contemporary, something a little bit more recent. So it doesn't necessarily have to be this year, but but it could be you know the last few years uh, something that's you know still in the moment it's a kind of um, present day now again if you're not sure about your example just check normally it'd be fine okay so examples of an, a media text include an advertising image or a commercial uh, a news or magazine article from either online or traditional or legacy news media platform and it may promote one of uh, these examples, so fashion or mobile phones or a news outlet or a sporting activity or event or a sporting personality, some other form of, form of um, some other type rather of personality would normally be fine. You might have something else that you want to um, offer as a suggestion for your for your project. Um, some examples here: gaming, a TV show or a film, um, some uh, aspect of a tourism promotion or something like that. Again, normally your ideas would be fine, just check if you're not sure. Okay, so a few tips before I leave you. Diarize, make sure those due dates are in your diary, that you're giving yourself plenty of time so that you're not running up against these due dates and, uh, and doing everything in a rush in the last minute. Um, block out some research or writing time. Strongly advise this for all the external students who don't have regular class times. Try to just do it the same time every week. Um, make part of the time that you are allocating uh, to uh, reviewing the materials, doing the reading and so forth, and also part of that time for working on your assessment items. Start early. Um, you don't have to start writing from day dot. What you can do is just write down, jot down a few ideas, a few questions, however you like it. You know, you can do this in a fun way, draw pictures, write on the, on the, on the wall, on the window, whatever you want to do. Um, and one of the benefits of this is, you know, it gets your mind kind of like ticking over and kind of like in the background even while you're doing other things. So you get the benefit of your subconscious mind, if you like, just mulling things over while you're, you know, at work or doing whatever you're doing when you're not doing your studies. And then when you come back to it and start to really knuckle down, you might find that um, ideas come a little bit easier if you've just done a little bit of preliminary work. Drafts. Do not submit your first draft. I mean, that's a classic way to um, have a whole bunch of little typos or errors or repetitions or so forth uh, left in there. Do a first draft, then just leave it alone for a while. You know, come back, uh, I would think at least 24 hours before you try to work on your second draft. Uh, because if you do it straight away, you're not you're not really reading it like word for word because you're too close to it you got to it's kind of like baking a cake you know you bake the cake you take it out of the oven you got to let it cool for a while before you put the icing on top now i said su i suggest three drafts is a good rule of thumb by the time you get to your third draft you should feel really comfortable and confident that what you're saying is what you're trying to say and that the writing is as crisp and as clear as possible and that you've got the referencing right so um, while we're talking about referencing, I'll skip down to the uh, last two points on this slide. So you need to show that you've engaged with the material. So for the short answers, you need to include at least one reference from the course material for each of those tasks. Now for the essay, there'll be more than one reference and you'll need to go a little bit wider. You need to use the Uni, UniSA Harvard referencing system Go to this link. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it takes a bit of getting used to, but after a while, it's not that difficult. You really just have to follow all the rules about all the different um, punctuation marks and so on and so on. All right, uh, it's tedious when you start, but actually it becomes one of the easier things that you do. It takes a bit of time because you have to use um, care, 
um, be quite meticulous about your referencing, but um, it's one way that you can show your markers that you actually have been paying attention to, not only the scholarly requirements in terms of what's required for referencing, but also um, what you, you, you're demonstrating that you've been paying attention to the assignment generally. Um, lastly, ask, I'm here to help, emails or the discussion board. Um, Please do not hesitate, especially to use the discussion board and you may want to participate um, in other students' um, discussions by answering their questions and so forth. And as you can see, by looking up there, my laptop is about to go to sleep, so I'd better say bye-bye and I'll catch you soon.